Hello, this is Robot Mega Sexy, and now I'm going to show you some... Uh, I'm going to show you a game that's way better than Sword and Shield, a game that remarkably has better replay options than a Pokemon game, which... I mean, a Pokemon veteran would be shocked by that. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll just get this started because there are a whole bunch of them. I'm DDD in this one. I'm fighting a very fun K. Rule. There are some nice... Uh, tough guys out here um, in these replays. Some nice um, yeah. Well, I always love the uh, K. Rule DD matchup. So he inhales his own cannonball and then knocks back my Gordo. And he like, he used the downbeat to reflect the crown and it made him snap back to his head. Which is like kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, K. Roll is looking all right, but up throw up air is always true on K. Roll. So I'm gonna go for it all the time. Um, just go for the full the uh, full hop there, and we get that kill on the ledge afterwards with that patient down B hammer charge. Forward smash on ledge is the truth in this game. That, that's all I'm saying. Like, I've I've never found it more useful in any Smash game than in this one. It's gotten me so many kills. And if you can set up a trap like Gordo or something, then it, it's just that more effective. Yeah. I always go for that runoff back air. The new armor on K. Rool allows him to take my back air with stride, but I pivot grab him into the uh, up air and kill him. Uh, really nice. Actually. I'm just jumping around and waiting for K. Rool to go for a laggy move, which is honestly like a super pro strat, and just waiting for moves to come out. Um, I mean, you do that a lot in Pokemon, too. So, I mean... The only difference is real time versus turn based kind of like, I suppose. So he's gonna he's gonna sock me right in the face with that meaty forward smash. I like it very much. I try to double inhale, but it doesn't work because this game gives them like the yellow uh, no grab uh, shield or some shit after grabs. It's interesting. They really don't want chain grabbing to be in the game, and I can respect it. Uh, cause I, I, I basically have PTSD from Brawl Days and getting chain grabbed death, so I, I can respect it. Um, we get the sour hit on down air, and ooh, yeah, mm. That's nice. That's the first one, that's one of many, guys. You saw it, we got tons of them. We got, we got, we got piles. Piles. And I've looked through these, and they're all very nice, so I'm excited to get these out, and I'm excited to be able to use Capture Card to make Smash videos, because, like, if, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you might remember that I started Smash videos with a very bad webcam on my 3DS Smash 4. So, uh, yeah. Humble, humble days. This, uh, this Mewtwo is quite good. Um, he, uh, he gets some nice kills on me. For sure. I, uh, always go for that pivot grab. Just in case. Get a nice jump over that Shadow Ball. They recent Mewtwo was one of the many buffed characters in the, in the recent patch. Uh, not the one that just came out, but, uh, other ones. Up. There's that up throw up air, which is like my favorite thing now. Uh, I almost get him with the jumping jet hammer, but just miss him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I go for the, the slow uh, spin on Gordo or whatever, and um, um, it kind of times out his reflect move, so that worked out. But I'm not really. I mean, like, this is pretty even right now, and. Uh, yeah. Mewtwo's pretty, pretty nice. I still think they need to increase Mewtwo's weight. Because it's just... I don't know, man. 
Alright, we, we're gonna back air him from across the stage and he just dies. That's like Maddox Rage. We're gonna go for that little best crouch in the game. Get, get, get up attack. This Mewtwo does weird stuff to me. I'm going to stupidly jump right above Mewtwo and just let him up smash me because it's like... That's a bad habit I have. I, I mean, I kind of did it there, but he, uh, he let me. But, um, yeah, I'm always going for those hops in the nair. Can be predictable. Um, thankfully. It's working now. He reflects the Gordo, he reflects it again. He is very, very, very good at reflecting stuff. In fact, uh, I got another replay after this one uh, with him, and I, I believe he gets some very stylish kills on me with that re reflect move. The confusion or whatever. I'm gonna go for that big grab, and it actually follows up for a kill. I'm, I'm very, very, very pleased with that. Like, almost surprised. I'm, they did buff the last hit damage in the patch, so, I mean, and it's it's freaking me too anyway. You'd, you'd probably be flying regardless. Uh, spit out that shadow ball, but no, it's not good enough. I cover the ledge with Gordo, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, pfft. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a goofy way to die. I just walk to the right a little bit and he goes for the stash crab, completely whiffs it, and it, I just turn around and jet hammer. Wholesome, wholesome stuff. I think that I fight this guy like two more times in the replays I do have. Crumb's Origins. He's a Fire Emblem guy. That's all you need to know. Let's get him. Oh my goodness, this match is candy for the eyes. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna hit him with Gordo twice. Straight away, that's pretty nice. Oh, we. Oh my god, you see that? I did back air to forward air. I think I've literally never done that before. But because he did not tech at all, I could just forward air him on the ground. This snake, I don't think he's ever fought a DD before. Uh, cause, um, it's just not, it's not, uh, I mean, it's looking pretty good now. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that's where, that's when things start going tits up for, for snake. He, uh, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think that snake has more potential as a character than DD. Um, I mean, for a lot of reasons. Uh, oh my goodness. But I'm just so used to the matchup. Eh. And I guess I have like wipe armor or something, I don't know. So we're, we're just going to uh, execute that stock. Um, rest in peace. I, um, I mean, as far as laggy as it is, I do like his jab. Just gonna jump on him with that inhale, and what is he gonna do? Nothing. He's snake. He does shield that. It does a lot of da shield damage, but you know, no way to breaking it. Yeah, he walks into the Gordo, and look at that shit. I like hit him with the very, very, very outer edge hitbox of my down smash, and I don't know if it's because he went for back air or like. Like, it just looked really sus, but that is the only time I've ever three-stocked a snake, I think. At least on Wi-Fi. So, that guy left the arena after that, so that always feels good. This is the game that can make you mad, I mean, I... I, uh, you know, I may have emotions. So here's another match with Snake, and I'm just going for those empty hops. Almost grab him out of the teleport. I don't think it's a real, real combo, but forward air into jab on Deity kind of works on low percent. Yeah, that's funny. I get hit with my own Gordo. Yeah, this Mewtwo is going for the forward air, so you know he's good. Basically, he's gonna try to grab me, but I just punish him with a nice forward smash. I try to inhale him, but I'm not quick enough. Um, 
<laughs> I just kind of look like an idiot there. Okay, yeah, more, more of that. But this Mewtwo is good. He's just a good guy. But uh, I won't be able to catch him with the up air attack, which got buffed in the patch, so it's all good. Um, they just released another update for this game that I haven't played too much of, but it added a mini version of Battlefield, which, I mean, I'm in, I'm in heavies, so that's just great for me. Like, that'll just be a winning stage for every character I play, basically. Um, just miss him, just miss him. I just miss him on that ledge. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes I just throw a forward smash in case they're gonna, like, walk into it. Because a lot of people walk into it. I just put it out there sometimes. So, this Mewtwo is gonna get a really nice kill here. He, uh, he gets me with, like, the weak hit of back air, and then gets me with the heavy hit of back air. And it's a two-hit combo, which kills me, but then I just uh, revenge him right back with up smash, so that's really good for me. But that looked really nice. And he has more tricks of his up, up that Pokemon sleeve of his or hers. Uh, yeah, I think I got one more replay with this guy. Oh, that's a very nice pivot grab if I do say so myself. How uh, why did I drop shield? I don't know. It's getting pretty close. I sidestepped the forward smash, which may have killed me. <laughs> Maybe. It is like a uh, final destination stage. Okay, so I'm gonna run off forward air and it just works. It works out perfectly. Uh, run off forward air is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Um, I think Bowser does it best. Uh, but, you know, they buffed Eevee's forward air, so what can I say? He's, he's pretty good. He's alright. I'm pretty sure it doesn't break him out of middle tier, but he's... He's... It's... It's it's a character that you're gonna lose on if you sleep on uh, DD, so that's nice. He at least has the uh, wacky matchup advantage. And here is another... Oh my god, 61%! Oh. I believe these are played backwards, and this may be the first match I had with them. Get that new down here. Oof. If I was a little quicker, I could actually combo him, but we hit him with that real nice forward air, and he just, he just dies. So... Appropriate as it is, since I'm mainly a Pokemon channel, to be fighting me too. And uh, all these Pokemon, I, I have an awesome Lucario replay too. Oof. Oh, that's so nice. Nair up tilt up air. That was. It was just a nice 30%. Real. Really, is what I'm saying. Now that's nice. He does the side B, and I tech in place, and. That actually means that he can combo forward smash, which is pretty wacky. That's some wacky stuff. If I rolled away, I would have been okay, but I did not. I did not. But uh, yeah, it's still looking like my favorite this replay because I'm a big boy, and he's definitely a kill percent. I just have to like not get hit all the time, or like, you know, death comboed with uh, down B or forward B, which is, yeah, Mewtwo can do that. Oh, that new down tilt is so cool. Almost kills him a bit. Now uh, Mewtwo's side B reflector is so gosh darn quick that if I spit back that shadow ball, I will, um, I'll just probably lose out and it'll reflect it in my face, so that's... God, I just love Dee's back air. Um, I'm real nice at the the short hot back air with Dee Dee. Don't even use the A plus B thing. Oh! 
That's a dumb way to die. Oh, yeah. Seat noises. He's, he's brought it back, but once again, he... I think he rolled? Did he roll? And then I just hit him with the hammer? He did something laggy, and then I was able to punish him. Um, Jet Hammer? I mean... You know how light that character is. He's gonna die from Jet Hammer even earlier, like at 30%. Usually it's like 50 or 60 with other people. But uh, with Me Too, it's probably real low. You'd probably blow him away. Uh, okay, so this is probably the last replay I have with this nice Me Too. Oh, goodness. This is when he really uh, puts the work on me, I think. Puts the work? I don't believe that's a uh, real expression. Maybe it is. Maybe it is now. This is, of course, the uh, Gen 4 stage from Brawl. Uh, spear Pillar in the uh, Final Destination form, so it doesn't have all the extra little parts. Still has an amazing, uh, yeah. Gen 4 music is great. Pokemon music is usually really, really great, almost always. He's gonna hit me with the... It's like the Hypnosis had a hitbox on it or something. So there, that is... Where me rolling away and not getting death combos. Because <laughs> in the previous replay, I just teched in place and he destroyed me forward smash. So, this has really worked out for me. He. I don't know if it was lag or bad timing, but he's having trouble reflecting it in this replay. I believe he does get me with it though. Let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's looking like some. Goofy bullshit jet hammer special move hijinks. Yeah, that's what that's looking like. Oh, shoot. What happened there? I guess the shadow ball pushed him back. I'm not really sure what happened. I hope it wasn't like a real SD. I think he's gonna just destroy my stock. Though. Yeah. So that is what I was talking about. If the Mewtwo player is good enough, he can reflect uh, projectiles real fast. Now, I am very scared of that uh, hypnosis attack, so I am really trying to not get hit by it. Amazingly, Mewtwo rolls away from my uh, forward smash, just barely out of the range of it. I shield the hypnosis successfully and combo. Alright, so that was... Yeah, I probably could have um, had him there, but that'll do it, that'll do it. We'll get the screen splat on that. I think we maybe get one more. Let's see, let's see what's happening. Hoppening, I have a, well, yeah. There, there's one replay I'm looking forward to in particular, but I'm I'm just gonna wait. Like... Alright. So this is a very good Lucina. Just like a very, very, very good Lucina, basically. So I'm just gonna let it play out. Kinda. Of. My Gordo traps are working. But uh Yeah. Lucina is not afraid to go off stage and hit me, which means Lucina is probably good. Her forward arrow is nice. Yeah, she tried to get me with the uh, the back air, but she ends up getting the stock instead with the counter attack. So that is a very nice kill for my opponent. See what we can do here. Yes. Ooh, we sit on him. I love. I just love how the <laughs> the side beat can combo into itself. It's so good. All right, that is probably my favorite ledge trap. 
uh, Gordo into forward smash. For real. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm honestly, I was trying to break her shield there, but it didn't really work out. But like, if I, if the Gordo had hit her shield, like if, if I jump on her and the Gordo hits her, like, I'm pretty sure that's a shield break. So I was trying to pull that off. Which is pretty nice, I don't think I've ever done that. It didn't work. Okay, so forward air almost kills me, but I'm a very, very heavy character. I'm trying to tempt her to ledge by uh, ledge grabbing multiple times. Doesn't really work, she's letting me recover. Just going for these uppies. Uppie is not going to kill me anytime soon. She'll have better luck with the counter attack when she is. I mean, that's how she got my first die. Alright, that's... Uh, yeah, that's just me uh, giving her the stock, basically. Cause, oh, we revenge right back, though, which is nice, but... The inhale, while being a very, very good reflecting move, has a lot of lag, and I usually get punished for it. Um, but we're gonna go for the up throw up air. Classic with Unity now. Ooh, throw out under the stage. <laughs> he seems rather impressed by that. Or she. Although, more than likely, is probably a dude. Uh, too much percentage, so that won't combo anymore, but. Alright. Yeah. Pretty much every time I inhale, I get punished, so I need to really uh, be careful about that. I just went for inhale like four times in a row, and she tilted me every time. And she probably would have killed me there, but she missed for some reason. Oh. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I think she was trying to kill me with up B. I honestly think she was trying to kill me with the up B, but it, like, didn't work, and she died because she needed to be facing right in order to latch on the ledge. I'm not sure what that is, but that was very close. It's nice. Um, I don't want to make this too long, so that'll be it. Comment, like, subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.